what you need to know about this aggressive no-kill movement that has entered the city of Brownsville, Texas, claiming they're gonna make the entire country no-kill by 2025. This is extremely misleading to the average tax-paying citizen. It's also very dangerous for children in the community or anybody really that wants to take a walk out in their neighborhood. I'm gonna give you two quick scenarios and I think you'll have a better understanding of my concerns. Um, if you lived in the city of Hondo, Texas, like I do, and you take walks every day at four o'clock, you have a small dog and a grandbaby that goes with you, but today you look out your window and you notice there's a bunch of loose dogs you've never seen before in your yard or in the road. So you call animal control and tell them that you have loose dogs in your yard. They will come out immediately and they will pick them up. That is a full service, animal control service that is provided to the community because I don't think anybody would disagree with me that more stray dogs out in the community is not safe. So if you live in the city of Brownsville right now and made that same phone call, they would tell you that the city shelter is closed for up to six weeks due to distemper and that the only animal control services you have right now are emergency services or sick, injured, or aggressive dogs. So those loose dogs that are in the community right now, they're not picking up. They've also been instructed not to pick up healthy looking loose dogs. So again, that is very dangerous for the public. And in over a decade and thousands of uh, shelter visits that I've made, the only time I have ever seen a city municipality put the safety of their citizens last is when this no kill movement comes in and decides to put their agenda first. So if this concerns you, I urge you to pick up the phone and call the city of Brownsville and tell them how you feel about this. And until this problem is corrected, I would suggest not taking walks in the community uh, because somebody's gonna get hurt. Thank you.